G'day guys, welcome back. Look, I'm going to play with a tiny little mould today. <laughs> it's a little druzy mould, druzy crystal mould. I'm going to bring it up and show you the inside if I can. Hopefully it will focus. Is that focusing? I don't know. It probably doesn't know what to focus on. But that's the inside. And uh, hopefully it'll give me a nice little crystal, druzy crystal effect. So there we go. Oops. I'm gonna make sure they're back in the right spot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna turn it into a little pendant. Uh, and put a little gold bale on it and paint the edges in gold. Oh, quite a few years back, I used to do um, agate jewellery. Uh, let's see if I can find some of my pieces. Oh my gosh. Move that out of the way for a sec. I used to do this agate jewellery. Um, and I used to buy these slices of agate and um, they had the electroplating on the edges but um, I mean I don't have an electroplater so I'm just going to paint the sides with um, you know my my gold pen so yeah that's what I used to do I used to sell those so anyway enough of that that's kind of what I'm going to do except I'm going for just this druzy look on the inside see that little crystally look I'm going to go for that there you go <laughs> put this back under the table all right so that's my little druzy there and I thought what I would do is I'm going to just uh, dust it with some chameleon dust uh, pigment. This one's called Interfere Them. It's by glitterandcraftsforyou.com. So this one, I've written on the top what colours they are so that I know. This one's a pinky gold and I thought that would look nice with my gold edging. So, and I don't, I don't want a lot. I'm just going to very lightly dust it on. And then... Um, like, I don't even mind if it doesn't get into all the little nooks and crannies. How come it looks green going on? They, they look different going on, don't they? So I've just got a nice, big, soft brush there. I'm just going to see if I can poke it in. I think a nice, soft brush works well because you can get it into all those little creases. But like I said, I don't want to put too, too much in. Push it in. Okay, that'll do. Don't want, don't want too much. Um, and then I just want to fill it up with some clear. That's it there. Um, might dust the, just get the excess off with my little air duster. Mm, no, there's not much coming out. I very, I put a very light amount on. Very. Very, very sparse. Now, I'm just getting my resin out. I don't think I've ever made such a tiny little bit of resin. It's been sitting in a warm water bath. Because I want it nice and thin. Um, it is the... What am I using today? The Platinum Ultra Clear Food Grade. Because it sets up nice and quick. Like, I can demold this in six hours. So I'm going to use that. And it's, as you can see, it's really, really low bubble. I don't know if you can see. I'll give it a quick torch, but yeah, there's not very many bubbles in there. Uh, I'll give it another little torch. Okay. Uh, yeah, it hardly made up any. It was the smallest amount I could make up. I did um, 25 grams of, oh, did I? Jeez, I can't even remember now. 25 grams of A and 11 of B, just to be on the safe side, but I don't even think I'll need all that. Okay, here we go. Just going to pour that in. Uh, 
nice and slowly. And then wait for it to settle. <laughs> I only used half of it. Or maybe I made up less. I have got a smaller amount. It's 12 and 5. Did I do 12 and 5? I can't even remember now what I did. Yeah, I made up a very small amount. Just going to drop that from a bit of a, a height just to get it to go into all the little nooks and crannies. I don't really want to push my stick around in there because I'm going to dislodge the um, the chameleon powder. But I think that should work, shouldn't it? We'll see. All right, let's just put a tiny bit more on top. I want it as full as possible for it to dome. Because resin shrinks a little bit as it dries, as it cures, and it sort of pulls away from the sides. And you sometimes get a little lip, and I don't want to be able, I don't want to be sanding the little lip, so see how that goes oh that's doming nicely all right that's it i will leave it like that give it a quick torch okay this is going to be fun i'm looking forward to this all right um do you want a close-up of that i'll bring you bring it up so that you can have a little peekaboo oh why aren't you focusing Oh my gosh, it doesn't know what to focus on. There it is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess I'll see you in six hours when it's time to demold and then we'll paint the sides. So yeah, should be fun. All right, see you soon. I'm back. I'm very excited. It's dry. It's um, probably not all that hard yet. I think if I pushed my fingernail into it, it would dent. So I'm not going to push my fingernail into it, but I cannot wait. It's 7.30 p.m. and um, I want to get this little baby out and paint it with some gold and, uh, and see what it looks like. Now, I'm not expecting it to be, um, oh, you know that... Um, you know when I did the chameleon and I put the black on it and then you turn it over and it gives you that um, really um, amazing colour change. Um, I'm not going for that with this one. This one's a little bit different. I just want it to be just very subtle sort of a shimmer. That's what I'm going for. Okay, that's loosened it all the way. Hang on, I'm going to let my dog in. I can hear her. I've got these beads, like a bead curtain hanging down in front of the door to stop flies and things getting into my studio. And I could hear her, you know, moving the beads, but the door was shut. All right, let's get this little baby out. Hopefully it comes out nicely. Let go. Got it. There you go. All right, let's have a little look. So that's the back. I can see some sort of purpley colors and things on the back, but let's have a look at the other side, hey? Here we go. Oh, look at that. There's the green I was looking at. Because when I was painting it on, I, I said to you guys, where's the green coming from? Oh, there's the pink. It's changing colour. And then depending on what you put behind it, you get a different colour as well. Oh, wow. That's so pretty. What do you think? And I love the, the druzy look. It's really jagged, isn't it? And crystal-like. I was expecting more of... Actually, when I look down, not through the camera, it does look more pink. But then when I look through the camera, it's more green. 
All right, uh, let me just grab a tile to put it on. Oh, here's one. Here's one behind me. Move all this away. There we go. Give us something to to work on with the white background. I'm really happy with it so pretty okay um here we go i'm gonna do this is the deco color premium so i'm gonna do the sides but i also want to make sure that i get a little bit on the top so i've never done this before so let's just see how i go just going to go around the outside first along the side because there's a flat edge or smooth edge I'll have to hold it like that actually there's a smooth edge around the the outside there I've only got a silver bale and I spray painted my silver bale in gold and I was about to do a second coat and I dropped the can and the, the little spray thing broke off. So, gosh, now I have to go and buy a whole new can of gold spray paint just because the top's broken off. Oh, so upset. I wonder if I can get in there a little bit more. Because I do want to see a little bit of gold. See, that's the gold on the edge now. But I do want to see a little bit of gold. Whoops. I dropped it across the top. I wonder how I do that. I'll just do it the same way as I would normally do a coaster, I guess. And just sort of very carefully follow the top. I don't know. What do you think? I guess that's what you do. I'll just do a little bit first. I don't want to overpower it. I'll just put a little bit just along that sort of top edge that I've painted the side in. I can always put a little bit more of the gold on if I choose to. I just don't want to overpower it. Oh, it's a bit tricky. I guess you could use a, a paintbrush and some gold paint maybe okay now I'm going to press put a little bit more on a little bit more I'm going to go like on the on the lower crystal I'm just going to push the pen like that to put a little blob on well that's working well just on each of those lower crystals whichever crystal is on the, the bottom row Oh, look at that it's working really nicely and they're all different heights so that you're going to get this really natural looking edge I think have I gone all the way around don't know don't think so yet I'm gonna go all the way around on that crystal that's on the the side the top of the crystal that's on this side okay I think that's it you guys I think that's it oh, look at that that looks pretty that looks very pretty look at that okay now I'm going to stick my little bezel another bezel look at my can look it snapped off I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> I've tried gluing it on, but it's not working. Oh, it's expensive. I'm going to have to go and buy a whole new one now just because that snapped off. Oh, what a shame. Anyway, I've got one coat of paint on it. But it looks a bit more sort of um, matte. I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to paint it with this because this is much more shiny. I don't need to do that because it's going to be sitting on that it's just this top bit that needs doing really I don't see any reason why you can't 
paint it. Oops, sorry, my finger's in the way. I don't see any reason why you can't if you haven't got the colour that you want. And we won't see the, oh, oh gosh, we won't see the back either. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to pop that down for a minute. I'm going to get some glue. Just wait there one sec. Okay. 